Yo boys, what's going on? This is Motty AC7 here and welcome back to another episode of the Crystal Palace Career Mode. If you can see, the hairline is... Oh, let's... Let's ignore that. Look at the table. Look at it. 30 points. We are absolutely smashing it. Only two losses all season. Both coming away from home because we are the boys. We are sick and that's it basically. So, we're absolutely flying. In today's episode, we have got the mighty West Ham. We've got Brentford. And we're going to finish off the Champions League. Although we don't need to win that game really. Because we're already through. We've already topped. So we might sim that and play Chelsea instead. We've got lots of emails to reply to. Elise development plan. He's up to an 87. Jesus Lord. We love it. We love it. 121 weeks to go to the next one. That's a bit, a bit sad. But that's okay. All these are going. That's beautiful. I don't think these are actually emails we need to reply to. I think these are just ones that... I haven't done yet, so I'll go through these and then we'll be back with the first game against West Ham boys. And then lads, let's get this game right underway. Toram's a little bit tired. Mitchell's straight back into the team. I'll tell you what, Gendry's very tired. Do we have... Bergson is going to have to come on the bench. That is absolutely fine with me. Let's go get this game underway. We've got Eze and Elise, both 87s. Who's going to be the first one to get to a 90? I'm not too sure, but let's go and take on... West Ham, away from home, and let's get another win, boys. Come on, you Igor! <laughs> let's have it, lads. We're back at home. We're back at home, lads. We got the setup. We got everything. Uh, so, I'm expecting good performances from us now. Although, my light is very close to me. So, it is hurting my eyes a little bit. But, you know what? We'll just have to learn to, to deal with it. And uh, let's make sure there's no silly tackles, please, lads. Yeah? No silly tackles. No silliness. We just go and get the win. Like, we are so good at doing. Ducore, love that from you, lad. I love it. Alise. Beautiful. Kepam. What have you got, lad? Eze. Play through Lang. Oh, is he offside? I think he's timed it perfectly. Lang whipping in to Alise. Why did you keep running when you know it's going behind you? Why did he do that? Just stop for a minute, Alise, and control it. But no, we had to keep running. Here they come with Ben Rama. Through. They ain't really got much, I'm not going to lie. They're passing the ball well, but Munoz gets there very well. I like it. Right, let's take our time, boys. No, not that much time. He's offside. Ref. Come on, he's played the ball to him, though. So I, I stopped. That is, that's unfair, that. That should have been offside. But that West Ham are all over us at the moment. All over us, but Tammy Abraham puts it wide. Thank you very much, Tammy. We're struggling. I'm getting close to you. Getting close. Right, come on. I'm comfortable now. Come on, Duke. Love that. Mitchy boy into SA. Right, boys, we haven't played well, but time to turn it up a notch now. Toram through to Elise. Oh, it's an interesting ball. And ball! Thank you very much. We know now Marcus Toram is our penalty taker after Elise has missed quite a few. So, Marcus Toram, get yourself over this and fire it into the bottom left for me, please, son. Bottom left. Lovely. It's a great penalty as well. Marcus Thoram gets us a goal. Gets us in the lead against West Ham. It's a London derby. But we're coming out on top. And look at this from Thoram. Look at that. Sensational, mate. Sensational. Can't argue with it. Cannot argue with it, my boy. I like it. I like it a lot. 1-0. Let's carry it on, boys. Let's carry it on. And that's all that matters. But here they come again, West Ham. The mighty, mighty West Ham. Love that from you, Bono. What? Ref, they've played the advantage putting a cross in. Surely. Surely that's the advantage. Yeah, he good lads. But they're coming back in. West Ham have played very well today. They haven't created anything or really even had a shot. But they've been in and around that penalty area. A lot more than we have been around theirs. But we've got a penalty and we scored. So we'll take it. Come on then, Duke. Love that. Good little run. Through to Mitchell. Hasn't gone to Mitch. He's gone to Lang. Now to Marcus Turam. Probably should have passed it. Ariola with a big save. And I tell you what. That would have been a good way to end the half. Considering we've been under a lot of pressure from West Ham this game. But it is going to go to half time. 1-0 up I suppose. I suppose it is. Let's go. Alright come on then boys. Second half underway. Only a goal from Marcus Turam. And it was his penalty that has put us into the lead. It was a well took penalty though. Um, we just got to keep winning though boys. I genuinely think, right, I'm going for Champions League again, but I genuinely think we could win the league. 
I mean, there's no reason to think why we can't win it. We finished second last season with not, not as good of a team. And now we have a really good team. I don't even know like what our weak spots are. Probably our fullbacks in rating, but in performance. You wouldn't say anyone's a weak spot, would you really? And I'll not be messing around with it right there in the middle of the pitch. Gehi, love that from you. And here we go again, boys. Here we go again. Just a little bit of passing. Elise through to Eze. Can he get a goal? I'm sure he'd love one. Left foot, bang it into the top corner. Eberechi Eze, when he wants to score, he will say, thank you very much. Have a good day. I'm scoring. And that's what, exactly what he's done right there. I don't know why he's gone Irish, to be fair. It was a great finish, to be fair to him. Cannot, cannot fault the lad. It was a great finish. The hair's washed. Just ignore it. Should we make some subs, lads? 50 nif. 50 nif? 59th minute, we'll wait a couple minutes. Uh, wait until the next goes out of play and then we'll make some substitutes. Any signings that you boys want? We've got, we got a bit of money, haven't we? Going into January very soon. So you boys can start to make some signings if you want to. Tyreek Mitchell running down. He's, oh, that's a good touch, that, to be fair. Langy boy, what have you got for me? Give it to Mitchell. Ducore. Into Kepan. Dink it over back to Ducore. It hasn't gone there. It's gone to Lang instead. Lang's going to put it in. Eze, oi, it was a good play. Kevin De Bruyne has scored four. Uh, I was about to say by Munich then. Who am I on about? Uh, Man City, Jesus Christ. Go on then, Torum. Before you go off, grab another. Thank you very much. 3-0, West Ham. Go and cry. Go and cry because West Ham are losing. 3-0 to Crystal Palace. Come on, you boys. Come on. Not rewatching that. Get the subs on. We'll make one, one more sub as well, because why not? We will take off Toram and we'll bring on Lerma instead. That's it. All the boys are on. Is it to Alvarez? Abraham. Oh, no. Here they go. Here they come. Here they come. Ben Rama. Oh, Henderson, man. What is that? I stopped talking, but what is that? At your near post, and you're getting beat like that. That is shocking, mate. You've been so good all season. It's actually an own goal. That is absolutely shocking. We've got more defensive as well, and that's when we concede. What? Get your head on that, please, Gay. You love that. Look at this. Milo will hit it from here. Go on, then. Oi, get this mic a bit closer. Feel like I'm not loud enough. Yo! Come on, then. One more minute left, boys. We played very well. We, I'm a bit gutted to get uh, concede the goal because I don't feel like we deserved it. That was just Dean Henderson's mistake. And um, they don't even deserve to score, to be honest. They have, they've done nothing. They've been in front of the box, but as far as shots go... But I'll tell you what, I'm waffling here and they might get another. No, they won't. Because Buono, what a signing he's been, boys. What a signing he's been. 3-1. Let's go get into the next game. And the boys, this is the team that's going to take on Brentford. We're back at Selhurst Park, the Fortress. Bono's a little bit tired, so Anson's going to come in. I'm not going to rotate too much because our next game is against Dynamo, um, which obviously we're already through, so I'm not too focused on that game. So let's just get this game underway and try and get a win. Right then, let's get it underway. Brentford, what have you got for me? Sorry, I'm, I'm rocking back and forth there. Can we get another win after that fantastic win against West Ham? Was it 3-1 in the end? Uh, should have been 3-0, but, you know, Dean Anderson had other ideas. That's a great start, Munoz, giving the ball straight to the silver. Why, why would you do that to me? Why? Go out, go out. Thank you. It's all going on, lads. It's all going on. Anderson's going to have to come over because Munoz has got beat. And that leaves Whistler on his own. Leaves Embuemo on his own, but Dean Henderson does very well. He's good one-on-one. -on -one. He is good one-on-one. -on -one. Just when it comes to his near post, he decides that he doesn't want anything to do with it anymore. So, you know, interesting. Eze put that through. Love that. Mitchy boy. Into Lang. Langy. What have you got? He's going to hit one from here. It's a poor, poor shot. Don't know what he was thinking to strike one from there. He just doesn't have the minerals. Let me control Marcus Toram. Jesus Christ. Get he. Big header, please. Thank you very much. At least they threw to Lang. Through to Mitchell. What have we got? Oh, straight away. Through to Marcus Toram. Back through to Lang now. The boys are playing some incredible football. 
Eze keeps it alive. That's a great tackle, that was. Someone's injured. I don't care. Kepan Turam, come on! What a finish. They're all going to be saying we could have, should have put it out of play. But we've got a title to chase. I ain't putting that out of play. I'm not after that fair trade award. I ain't Arsenal. I don't know what's going on with me here, lads. don't know what's going on with it. But we're there. We're there. Kepan Turam, what a goal, son. And I don't know how he was injured because it was a great tackle from Eze. I don't know why he hit it with his left as well when he tried footed. But he put it in the back of the net. And that's what matters. We are winning 1-0 against the mighty Brentford at home, at the Fortress. No place comes here and gets a result unless your name's Man City. That is, that is that's literally it. Hopefully we don't play them until like the end of the season at home. And then we can be unbeaten for a whole year at home. That would be cool. They should introduce that into like the... Uh, I know they do it for like the season. They bring it up, don't they? Like, oh, best home records and best away records. But uh, yeah. I feel, feel like they should do it for like the whole year, like calendar years. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but no in EA, they won't. Toram, little pass there. Beautiful, lads. Absolutely stunning. Go on, at least he's through then, has he? He's gone. He's gone. Marcus is with you if you need him. Slot it under. Don't need him. I don't need him. At least he's like, hold on there, mate. I'll just finish it myself. I'm higher rated than you. And Eze's given me the assist. So I'll give him the assist and I'll slot it in the back of the net for you. And that's exactly what he's done. That is exactly what he's done. And it's 2-0 to the... Uh, I was going to say West Ham then. To the Palace, boys. Oh, that's a great tackle. That was a great tackle. Come on. Come on, then. Thoram's gone. He's definitely going to get 30 goal contributions this season. Oh, he might get an assist this time. He gives it to Eberechi Eze. And Marcus Thoram gets the assist. Very unselfish. And we are 3-0 up against Brentford. Which... It's absolutely insane, boys. In the first half, and we're already 3-0 up. This team is absolutely insane. I don't know how I'm so good with this team. Honestly, boys, you should have seen me on my Crystal Palace career. Um, on my Sutton United career. If you're not watching that already, you should see how bad we actually are. Shocking, in fact. Lang! Oi, I should have sent that through to Marcus. It could have been 4-0 at half time. How has he not blown the whistle yet? Come on, referee. Blow it, son. Marcus Toram's knackered. Might have to bring Mateta on. Uh, blow that now, ref. 3 0 at half time. Let's go, boys. Alright, second half. We've got three different goal scorers. And it's not the Toram that you think, it's the Kepan Toram in midfield. But, boys, we've played incredible this game. In fact, we've played, in we played incredible most games, to be fair. We just sort of like tur turn it on, switch it up, and there's nothing like oppositions can actually do against us. Boys, start giving me some sliders to put on, because this game's getting way too easy for me. Lang's going to join the party. No, he's not. No, he is not. Because Juf makes a good save. But tell you what, Anderson, what a ball that is. But Ajer gets there. It's a great tackle from him. Wissa, Eze, run it. I should probably make some subs. But he's running. He's running. He's running. Marcus still hasn't got on the score sheet yet. I'm sure he would love to. Oh, but maybe he could get another assist. He can't because Lang can't control it. Which is understandable. Mateta on. Milo on. Notto on. Uh, Gendre on, and we'll bring Lerma on as well. Whole five subs, all at once, boys. Get them all on, and let's get playing some ball. Where's my defence, man? The attack, the fullbacks go so high that sometimes there's just no one back, boys. Oh, and Anderson's messed around with it. But Gehi, how many times has he bailed my team out this season? Go on then, Munoz. Keep going. Love that. Yeah, Marcus. Oh, why is he not running? He might be now. No, he's not. What was that ball? Literally shouting Marcus Toram and you still haven't passed to him. Nice, Duke. Give it to Marcus. He's been waiting for his goal today. And he finally gets it in the 88th minute, just as he's about to go off. The keeper was on that side, but Marcus Toram just slots it into the top, top binners as high as he possibly could. Look at this. Bang, I love it. I love it, lads. 4-0 against Brentford. We finally get a clean sheet. And there's not much more I can say about on the matter apart from, well done, the boys. Well done. You've absolutely smashed it. You've absolutely smashed it. 19 in 16 games. He is on course to beat that record. Massively going to beat it, I think. 
That's a poor pass from Munoz, but we'll take it. A 4-0 win against Brentford. Come on, you Eagles. I don't know, lads. This game really does not matter because we are already through. We're going to give it a sim. But I swear to God, if we lose this, I'm going to be actually, actually fuming because we're on 15 points. We've won every game so far, and I would love to go every game unbeaten if we could, but I'm not sure if we can. Um, we're not going to rotate too much. That's all we're going to do. We're going to give it a quick sim. And can we get the win, please? 3-1. Thank you very much. Lerma, Lang, and Lang at the double. We love that. So we are officially top of the group, winning every single game. Let's go have a quick look at the um, at all of the groups. Barcelona and Sporting are through. Munich and Monaco are through. Real Madrid are out, boys. That's good for us. Man City and Sociedad are through. Man City done the same as us. They won every single game. Um, PSG managed to beat Porto and go through. And then it's Atletico are definitely through. That's a tough group. I'm not too sure about that. Inter are definitely through. And that one's a tough group as well. We'll find out in a couple of weeks who we're going to get, which is absolutely lovely to see. Bueno development already up to an 83. That is what you love to see from your new signing. And who else was that that I just see? We've got Munoz. Is an 82 rated now. Lovely. The whole team is just absolutely growing massively, which is absolutely lovely. And we're in first still, one point ahead of City. Us and City are battling it out, but they're the million pound team and we're... We're nowhere near that sort of level yet. I don't think we ever will be near the, the a billion pound team. We've got a few players that are worth a bit of money, but not worth that much money, I'll tell you that. And talking about million pound teams, look who we're playing here. We're playing Chelsea. They're sat in eighth. The London derby, another London derby. And I would love to get a win to finish off the episode and get us onto 39 points, even further ahead at the top, hopefully, City lose, I don't think they will, but this is the team that's going to play. Let's get it underway. Now, come on, lad, I expect nothing less than a win. Nothing less than a win. I don't, I don't even want a draw because that means City overtakes us, but I don't want to spend all the time at the top of the table. We did that quite a bit last season, didn't we? We were at the top for a bit and then we sort of fell off and City overtook us, but to be fair, I don't even think we should be challenging for that title. It's just because we finished second last season. I feel like we could, we could go for the title. Personally, if you finish second, what what's the reasoning behind not going for the for first next time? That's not an improvement. And we don't want to just finish second again, do we? So, yeah, let's keep it going, lads. Let's keep it going. Already got a trophy to our name as well. Is it the Carabao Cup we've got? I'm pretty sure it is. And it could be 1-0 already. Oh, it might not be because I've messed it up a little bit. Here's Munoz. Back to Elise. Come on, lads. Four amp. Through to Mitchell. Oh, unlucky Mitch. I wanted it to Eze, really, but it went to Mitch instead. That's okay. It's just... It's a 2-1-1 one, one here, but Gehi is going to do me proud. Good lad. Kepam. Little pass there. My guy. Elise. Wait for that Munoz. Wait for that Munoz run. It's a great run. Munoz is going to have to hit it early, and he's absolutely skied it. I don't think I needed to hit it early, but I decided to anyway. And... Um, that's no goal for us, but we're showing promising signs, and that's all we need. Munoz, get your head on that. Boys, they're just limiting us to long-range shots, which at the moment is not working for us. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep pestering as much as we can and try and get a goal here. Roberto is through, but Munoz doing very well to get the ball back. Elise, what have you got, lad? That's not what I wanted to see. Come on. No, 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 not like this, EA, how, does the first shot all game when we've absolutely smashed him, this game makes no sense, man, but he's blocked off my player as well, so I can't tackle him, not going to be a foul, it's just tactical play, but it's annoying, literally going for the tackle and his other player runs in front of me, so I can't go and get him, which is really annoying, but we just need to up it, lads, we need to up it, we haven't performed, well enough in front of goal. We've we've had a lot of the ball and we've been attacking a lot, but we haven't really made anything of it. Come on then, Toram. Keep it going then. Keep it going. Into Lang. He'll have it. Elise. Bang. How have you not scored, Elise? How have you not scored that? Come on. Toram. Header. Beautiful. Pick that ball up. We're not going to get one, but we love that. Marcus Toram with another goal, as he so often does. Scoring 
for us to make it 1-1 at half time. We love it. Oh, we need a big one. Two late goals in that first half draws. But both of us, one goal each. And that was a late challenge from Sterling. There was no way he was ever getting there. But he tried it. And our job is to try and get a second goal. Maybe a third, maybe a fourth. Who knows? But at the moment, just trying to get that second. And hopefully we don't let Chelsea get one. Munoz, what have you got? Inside, please. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. I wanted it to Marcus. But it didn't go there. Nice, Munoz. Elise to Marcus. Marcus! Oh, it's a great block from Emery Chan's arse. Come on, we can get another corner goal then. Gehi this time. That's ours, ref. Thank you very much. I might swap this to Elise, to be fair. Elise, in swinger this time. Whip that in. Marcus Toram's there again. He tries to rise for it, but Thiago Silva gets a settle. Is that, is that a penalty? Is it actually a handball, though? I can't see. I don't think it is handball. Eze, you're not taking it. Toram has not missed from the spot yet. He's going to go top left. Please bang it, Toram. Please. Come on. Great penalty from Marcus Toram. You don't save those, even if you go the right way. 2-1. Marcus Toram at the double. It's fantastic to see, boys. Absolutely incredible to see. We love it. We love it. We're 2 on. We're back into the lead, boys, which is what we wanted for so long. January transfer window's coming up as well, so you boys need to tell me who you want me signing. You need to tell me that. I'll make sure it happens. I promise you. Thiago Silva. Is it to Caicedo? Come on, Ziyech. Roberto, no. Keeper, come out for it. Good! So poor, man. Literally straight from kickoff and you just let him score like that. What is Gehi doing? Was I controlling him? Because if I was, that's absolute shambles. No, they're going to be through now. Well, last few minutes. We don't want a draw. But we don't want a loss either. We could be getting a loss here. Sergio Roberto's through. Oh, it's a goal. Dean Henderson, what are you doing? How has he not saved that? That is absolutely terrible goalkeeping. Get out of my club. How? How is he? How? Please, someone enlighten me. How that's just happened to a professional goalkeeper. He stood on the line and palms it into his own net. Lang! Oh, yeah, but Kepa just saves a worldie. Of course he does. We're going to lose, boys. And we've only got ourselves to blame. Lang! Come on! Is there time for one more? Is there time for one more? Probably not. Not if we don't win the ball back anyway. Two minutes left. Oh, there might be one more for Chelsea. Munoz. Oh. oh. What a save, Henderson. Thank you. Oh, my God. We will take the draw because we were about to lose. We'll take it. Fair enough, boys. Come on. All right, boys. After that result, is a terrible result. We should have cleared that game because we were in front for a lot of it. Uh, we are still in first, but City still have to play. So if they win their game, they'll be one point ahead of us. And it'll be us chasing against Man City once again like we did so, so much last season. But hopefully you all enjoy enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video. And I'll see you all in a week. Peace.